Hi folks, TJ here. Another video on EcoFlow River Pro, and this time something that I haven't done too many videos on. And in fact, I owned this for a long time and only really used it in a few past trips. I used to own some Volkswagen Vanigans. This worked perfect right in the middle of the two front seats. Had cup holders, really unique little Dometic. I believe it's the CF11. I don't think they even make it anymore, but I've seen some online for like $500. So this seems to still reach a premium, maybe because of its compact size. It could be a refrigerator, can be a freezer, I believe also, and only one or the other, not both at the same time. And it had two cup holders, which is kind of unique and kind of cool. I have a trip coming up. We this year do not have any van. We don't have any Volkswagen van again. Don't have a running camper. We're going to go on a two-week camping trip in a mini Countryman. Now, I'm no stranger to camping in a small vehicle. I'm trying to remember the year. Was it 2018, 19? I think 18. Wife and I did the all pods to Roswell. We own a Volkswagen Beetle, a 2010 final edition convertible, which has less space than your typical coupe because uh, of the convertible style. So very small little back trunk. We camped in that, actually did a, a trip for, a, was it a week and a half? To Roswell, did the all pods to Roswell trip, which we stayed at a nice hotel there in Roswell at the time. But then we went on a four day camping trip in New Mexico where I did some 10 car fly fishing. And we camped out a, a convertible Beetle, amazingly for that many days. And so I'm no stranger to very compact camping, but it's been a while. I've aged a few years. We're kind of used to a little bit uh, larger digs. And we're going to now take a Countryman, which is actually a little bit larger than the uh, Beetle in terms of space. But we're going to be taking a dog, dog crate. And uh, what are we going to do for keeping stuff cold? So this time around, I don't have the room for our big size set power uh, 45 quart, 47 quart refrigerator, but I want to try to keep stuff cool. So I'm going to be taking a Siberian small 25 quart, kind of like a Yeti style. I guess for lack of a better word, a lot of people probably compare their little ice boxes to Yetis because it's one of the very popular brands. We actually own a Yeti, but it's huge and I can't take it in the Mini Cooper. Uh, so this time, what are we going to do? So I'm going to take a small, small 25 quart to keep some basic like vegetables and milk and stuff cold. But what about the beverages? So I was thinking, why don't I take my River Pro with me, battery backup, and try to use the CF11 again. It's been many years since I've used it, so who knows how well it's going to do. But I'm going to do a test. I'm going to see how many 12-ounce cans of pop or Pepsi or soda, whatever you want to call it. We call it soda here in California, but I, we used to call it pop back in the day also. See how many cans we can stick in here, because maybe what we'll do is I'll use this for our beverages and use our ice box for vegetables and salad and a few things and see how it goes. Do I have enough room to stick this, this, and dog and, and clothes and tents and all that in a mini countryman? We'll see, because I'm going to actually do a, a video series on our two-week camping excursion, all in a mini Countryman. But till then, I wanted to run a test. How many days can I run this off of this? Now, my Set Power RV45S, I think I protracted out that we could probably run that alone three days off of this. So this sure is better to do three days. I'm thinking it should do more. It should draw less power. It's smaller. And if we keep it packed with soda and just set it at 40, that should work, right? So let's see. I've got a 12-volt connection. Set power, not set power, but uh, EcoFlow River Pro charged up. Dometic CF11. Let's see how many cans we can stick in this first. And then we'll cut off the video. And I'll run it in my back bedroom for a number of days and see how many days I get. And then come back and say, hey. This is how well we did. And it's a fun little uh, refrigerator. I may even do a future test because I'm pretty sure this will freeze also. Uh, maybe use it as a freezer only. Maybe we want to have some ice cream, screw the drinks, or put some drinks in the other one if we have the room, and put stuff that needs to be frozen in here and how many days we can get off of that. That's another test, but let's load this thing up first. Let me see if the camera is enough. Uh, maybe if I bend my head over... Maybe we'll 
drift this up just a little bit. And see how many kids. Ow! <laughs> I, I, I totally rocked my elbow yesterday when I went to the pet food store. I think I bruised it for life. So if you haven't seen this Dometic CF11, it's got two cup holders. And it's relatively small. You see I'm picking it up with my hand here. Uh, 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 let me make sure that's still in the shot. And then we'll open up the top. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, this, it's got a little pull-up clamp. And the amount of space that you're... Oh, it's going to fall on my head. Uh, this is the amount of cavity. You've got a little space here and then a deeper cavity here. Uh, I'm going to just stick as many drinks as I can in here. And it's got this little chain that prevents this from falling back. So we're going to go ahead and stick... What the hell was that? I don't know what that was. Probably a dog outside. Okay, one, two. I don't know if you're supposed to lay them down. I'm going to put them as I would normally do. That's three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, uh, uh, ten, uh, ten, oh, eleven, twelve, twelve. Here, I think I could probably smudge uh, 13. Maybe if I position things a little bit different, maybe even 14, but that's enough. That's a whole 12 pack of drinks that at this point should be fine. So let me uh, push these in. Uh, uh, tipping over a little bit. That's okay. It's, it, it's a little uh, crazy in here. <laughs> uh, that's good enough. Okay, so now is the time where I'm going to go in the back bedroom. I'm not going to record that part. I'm going to plug this all in. Let it run. So basically a 12-pack easily. There's room maybe for the baker's dozen in here, 13. That's a freaking lot of drinks. It, uh, you can even put some other, you know, regular 20-ounce uh, bottles and stuff in here instead. But we like to use cans during camping. Aluminum, we do, uh, if we go to a campground, we do put it in their recycle area so they can collect because campgrounds can then take that and get money to help support their campground. So uh, leaving them the recyclables is a cool thing. So anyway, hold tight and we'll come back in a few days. Hopefully it's five days, six days. I would love to know that I, for one charge, can last many days. And we always take day trips. Uh, so we can easily charge this battery up off of a, a, a four hour day trip that we do driving all around. So we can boost this thing back up. I think we could perpetually run this thing forever. But let's just see how it does off of this charge alone. Hold tight. Actually wanted to show you a quick video. So I can remember too. It is 71 degrees on this Dometic. I set the temperature to 38 I believe. Oh, sit. 40 actually. Okay, 40. Perfect. So 40 I feel is pretty good for when you're camping. Maybe I might turn it down to 38, but 40 is fine. Can you hear it? This thing is really whisper quiet, by the way. Right now, off of a... Um, starting to try to get cold. It's pulling 36, 37, 42, 30, 31. So I would say someplace in the 30s seems realistic. Obviously, it's not going to run 24-7 once it gets the, to um, the coldness that it needs to be. So this will be fun to see how many hours, how many days we can get out of this. Very good. So, quiet. See how quiet it is? And it's got two cup holders. How cool is that? All right. 24 hours later, we're going to do a little checking in here. I did pop in uh, yesterday about an hour later to see what the temps came down to. Started at 71, came down to about 60, I think, in about an hour. And then I came in at two hours, and it was down to 44. So my guess is it took between two and two and a half hours to get down the temperature, which I set at 40. 
And then I kind of came in every once in a while hearing this thing turn on and off. My guess is it takes a while for those drinks. So even though it can get down the temperature, probably turned on and off a lot more uh, until it really got the drinks nice and cold. And then it's probably turning on considerably less since then. But let's kind of check. And I do want to say at that two and a half hour mark, it went from 100% on my EcoFlow down to about 85. So it gobbled up a good 15% of the battery. My guess is I'm not going to do as well as I had hoped, but we're going to check here and see and then discuss it a little bit. So let's wake up my EcoFlow. Oh boy, okay, 50%. So I have used 50% in 24 hours to get this running as it is. So uh, since I used 15% in two and a half hours just to get it down and it ran quite a bit that time, you know, the whole time to get it cool, my guess is the next day it's going to be a little bit more generous than using 50%, but we shall see. So I'm going to go out on the limb here. I'm going to say I'm going to get a whole nother full day and then maybe another half a day after that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do three days out of this unless this really does well now that it's at temp. I'm not sure. So we're going to see. So we'll come back in a day from now, another 24 hours, and see if this is down to 25%, 20%, 15%. 30 something we'll we shall see but here's the video stepping us through how things are going right now okay update again it's now been 48 hours two days for you folks that don't like doing math <laughs> that's me okay so i'm not holding super high expectations day one used 50 percent I was hoping that that was just for getting this thing cool to temperature and then day two would be 25% and then I'd go another day get three days out of this but I sense and I don't remember when I purchased this I think it's 10 years old I'm gonna have to look into it and see if I can figure out when I purchased it so it's an older uh, model and it's been around for a while so maybe the tech and the newer coolers out these days just sip on power less I was thinking this would get more because of the size of it and it's very quiet that's the biggest thing on it. But anyway, let's wake it up. Let's see what we've got left. So it is actually running right now. Um, so it, it must have got to below where it need to be and turned it on again. So here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, only 6% left. So another 24 hours went. So it didn't use quite 50%. But it used uh, 44%. I'm not good at math. <laughs> uh, compared, it was at 50 when we basically looked last. So this is at the end. Uh, I've only got 6% battery left. It's been 48 hours. So I'm going to guess, um, you know, maybe I'll get another two, three, four, five hours out of this. It's not going to last three days. So it looks like my bigger set power that I have, the 47 quart, lasts longer. I'm pretty sure I got three days out of it using this just one eco flow but i'm going to let it run getting it down to about one percent see what i come in at and uh we'll call it a day so if i am in limited on where i can uh a space available in my mini cooper which i was considering taping taking this in it is nice and small i can fit a whole bunch of drinks may still serve a good purpose for that but if i've got the space and i need longevity maybe the bigger one's going to be better but anyway just turned off, so let's uh, see how much longer we get. 6% left, oh boy. So I'm going to guess, like I said, a few more hours to go. Um, maybe a half a day if you're really stretching things, but doubtful. It looks like we're down to about 6%. All right, time to call this a wrap. I'm down to about 2%. It's been about another three hours since my last little blurb. And it's time for me to go ahead and end this test. So two days and three hours, I could probably get a little bit more time off that 2%, but why bother? I think this uh, kind of fulfills the test. I can get at least a good two days out of this. And if I connected the second battery, uh, my guess is I would get uh, four days, right? Uh, but for now, this is a fun test that I did with the Dometic CF11 and the EcoFlow River Pro, just the battery by itself. There you go.
Well, I wanted to go ahead and wrap up this video rather than just pointing at the C CF11 or is it CDF11 deep freeze little Dometic. I thought I would uh, come on camera and kind of finalize things. So hopefully you enjoyed this little test. I know it's kind of more of a specific case that if you own something like this model and the EcoFlow River Pro, uh, but I would think it also translate to other similar items. Now size apparently does matter. Does it matter? <laughs> I was thinking this little CDF11 or CF11, I have to go look at the little sticker on the bottom. I just looked because I wanted to figure out if there was a date on the bottom of mine. I'm going to guess I've had it for 10 years. Uh, so I was thinking the smaller unit would last longer. It is whisper quiet. That is the biggest benefit of this. So if it's going to be in a small cab, small car, the quietness of it is wonderful. But it only lasted a little over two days. And it uh, used my 720 watt hour uh, EcoFlow River Pro battery. Uh, during that time. Now, like I said, I did start it off from kind of warm, so maybe if I pre-cooled it a little bit, I would have got a little longer time. Got a little longer. That's not proper English. I would have had a little bit more time. <laughs> uh, maybe two and a half days. Maybe I could have stretched it out to three. I don't know. Uh, but uh, age apparently does matter in this case because maybe older tech isn't quite as uh, ecological, or not. that's not the right root, is, is not quite on par of new equipment that takes less juice, less power, at least in this case, because this older unit lasted uh, shorter than what I expected, but it still did okay. I mean, uh, getting a full two days off of that battery is not bad. If you're going on a weekend jaunt, that's cool. If you're going for a two-week trip, well, you're going to be doing some recharging of the battery or connect the second battery, and I could have had, you know, four or five days out of it before I had to charge things up again. But it was a fun test, nevertheless. Now on to my next test. I'm going to actually retest a different cool full-size 47 quart that I have with my EcoFlow River Pro. I'm getting ready for some trips and I wanted to see what cooler I'm going to take with me. I'm still going to maybe take this little uh, 11 quarter because it is small uh, and compact and it might just do the job that we need. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Stick around if you like EcoFlow River products, if you like coolers. My channel is not all about that specifically. I'm more of a retro computer, retro 8-bit computer channel, but I do throw in some uh, things that I enjoy because I like 10-car fly fishing, I like camping, and so I use some of these type of devices like the EcoFlow River Pro and Dometic uh, fridges or uh, set power fridges. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.